going to create the GL. Before going to create the GL. Before going to post the document entries or accounting entries. You want to understand one thing, everyone. You want to understand one thing. Let it be, let's treat it as a some CO basic settings. In ECC, in ECC, before going to, I mean, if you want to post any GL related document entries, vendor and customer and asset, CO is not required actually. CO basic settings is not required. But in S4 HANA, it is mandatory everyone. During the GL creation, it is a mandatory actually. For example, guys, concentrate here. Very important, yeah. everyone. For example, in SAP F5, what information will going to update? In SAP CO, what information will going to update? My dear students, concentrate here. It's called SAP. SAP, what is the full form of SAP? Anyone tell me what is the full form of SAP? Anyone system remember? Full system form application, of application product. System, system application, application product, product for, for data, data processing. Data process, very good. So in FI, example everyone, concentrate here. We are going to learn what is mean in the SAP, we are going to learn one is called FI. And one is called CO. One is called CO. Everyone, concentrate here. Ah, concentrate here, everyone. Here, FI and CO. What is the mean by FI? FI means financial accounting. CO means controlling or management accounting. Controlling or management accounting. So, my dear students, concentrate here. If you post any accounting entry, if you post any accounting entry, if you post any accounting entry or document entry, accounting entry posting or document entry posting or whatever, if you post any accounting entry, from that accounting entry, in your file, it will going to update from that accounting entry in FI, it will going to update asset value and the liability value and expenses value and income value. Income value. From where this value is coming? From go and mute everyone, please. Please go. Um, Pratibha, ma'am, please go on mute, ma'am. You joined late and disturbed. Please, madam, please go on mute. So, my dear students, and uh, if you post any accounting entry, from this accounting entry, from this accounting entry, in SAP F5, asset value can update, liability value can update, and expenses value can update and even incoming value also can update. Incoming value also can update. Incoming, incoming value also can update. From where? From accounting entry posting. From accounting entry posting, this many things can going to update. What's it? This many things can be going to update everyone. From this accounting entry, here assets, liability, expenses, and incomes can be updated. But from this accounting entry, first it will going to update in FI, and same way it will going to update in the CO also. It will going to update in the CO also. Everyone. In the CO, asset information cannot update in the CO. No. Asset information cannot update in the CO. Make it as a NA, not applicable. 
in the liabilities liabilities cannot update in the co na not applicable expenses expenses update in the co here it can be update as a cost incomes update in the co it is update as a revenue it is update as a revenue everyone if you post any accounting entry from that accounting entry assets can update only in f5 liabilities can update only in f5 expenses can update f5 and as well as co here it will update as a expenses here it will update as a cost in the co in the co it will update as a expenses in a fi sorry in in a fi it will have update as a expenses in co it will update as a cost co it will update as a cost and uh, here everyone in a fi it will update as a income co it will update as a revenue for example for example everyone for example i will post one accounting entry i will post one accounting entry rent account data to cash so rent is means what is this rent means what example 10000 rent means what expenses income what is that expenses so rent means expenses so this rent information this rent information update fi and as well as co expense fi and as well as co in fi it will update as a expenses in the co it will update as a cost co it will update as a cost everyone and uh, cash cash means what expenses income asset liability cash means what current current assets means it is an asset income cash is the asset who told income cash is an asset actually so current asset or fixed asset whatever it is an asset so this cash information update only in f5 as a asset so this this cash information update in only in f5 only in f5 not in co okay for example here here we are posting the accounting entry for example i can post one accounting entry okay. <laughs> listen sir listen carefully listen sir for example i can post one more accounting entry the accounting entry is called um cash account data to commission received received and uh, 20000 and 20000 i am posting the accounting entries everyone example i am posting the accounting entries let it be here you can i am posting the accounting entries like this so you can tell me everyone cash is updated where commission received updated where tell me cash is asset commission received is income ha huh. tell me where how where it can be updated cash is updated in the cash in f5 cash is updated only in f5 commission yes. received update both 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 f5 and as well as co in f5 it will update as a income in co it will update as a revenue uh, i will post one more accounting entry everyone for example commission paid account data to commission payable commission paid means expenses expenses so it will update where both f5 as well as co commission payable means liability liabilities liability so liability update in where f5 only f5 only in f5 liability update only in f5 okay 
So everyone, here you want to ask one question. Here you want to ask one question. Sir, in F5, in F5, example in F5, example any value you can take. Any value you can take. For example, in F5, how this uh, assets and liabilities, expenses and incomes will going to update? It will update as a, I mean, how the value can be, I mean, how it can be, example here, it will update as a document type and number ranges. How it can be controlled for postings, document type and the number ranges. Yesterday we discussed na, number ranges. Sir, in CO, is there any control? Any control? Yes, everyone. In the CO also, it will can be controlled. CO also it can be controlled. Here we are called as a transaction type and number ranges. Transaction type and number ranges. Number ranges. Means it want to, for example, here in FI, it will update as an accounting entry. But in CO, it will update as a single line. It is not accounting entry. Okay, it's just for the reporting purpose. And here it will controlled by the document type and number ranges. Here it will be controlled by the transaction type and number ranges. Here it will be controlled by the transaction type and number ranges. In FI, highest hierarchy is the company code. In CO, highest hierarchy is the controlling area. In CO, highest hierarchy is the controlling area. So here we set up for the document type and number ranges. Here we want to set up for the transaction type and number ranges. Even in the CO also, we have standard everyone, standard transaction types. So you are not required to create any uh, new things, any new things. Everyone understood everyone what I'm telling? Yes, no, okay. Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Can, can you please note it down this everyone? Please. Just understanding purpose. Note it down. Non-commerce students following? Yes, no. Following everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, very good. Please note it down, please everyone. Done. Done. Done, everyone. Yes, no. Yes, sir. 
Yes. Yeah. So everyone, in the last class, okay, in the last class, even we set up um, document, take care of the spellings, everyone, type is, uh, typing mistakes, uh, document type and uh, transaction type, okay. And uh, here in the last class, we already set up document type and number ranges. And here now we want to set up transaction type and number ranges, everyone. Transaction type and number ranges for our controlling area. So here document type and number ranges we set up at company code level. Transaction type and number ranges we set up at the controlling area level. Controlling area level. Spelling, spelling, spellings. Number ranges at the controlling area level area. Okay. So my dear students, this is very important everyone. Concentrate here. And how to set up this uh, transaction type and number ranges. Go to one second. So now everyone, concentrated everyone, go to the path, SPRO, SAP reference IMG, select your controlling, general controlling, organization. Can you please note it down these three steps everyone? Maintain number ranges for controlling document, maintain version for, maintain version for controlling, define ledger for CO version. Note it down these three steps, everyone. We already created this number, this one maintain controlling area. We already did. Now we have to do these three steps configuration for CO documents. For example, how I can see this T code, everyone? How I can see the T code? Go to additional display It is a T code and here K A N K O K A Q and here also S N maybe this is not a T code actually. It's called S M H. Okay, anyway you can note it down. Last three steps, everyone. Note it down. Some basic settings, everyone. In depthly, we will discuss later during the CO. Once again, we are going to discuss controlling area, number ranges, version, and all the things we are going to discuss. Okay, and just for uh, some basic settings before going to that. Then. One second. So everyone, now my target is how to create, how to analyze transaction type and how we can going to assign the number ranges. Very simple everyone. First one, maintain number ranges. Maintain number ranges. You just double click on this execute button. Give it here your controlling area. What is your controlling area, everyone? I mean, my controlling area is JJCA, everyone. JJCA. 
for example how you are going to create number ranges in f5 example go to spro sap reference img select here financial accounting and the financial accounting global setting document document number ranges define document number ranges here what we are giving here we are giving company code jj11 this is my company code and I click on here change interval here we are going to create the number ranges here yesterday yesterday we discussed now like this we are going to create the number ranges in f5 at company code level at company code level now in co let's observe here everyone in co to so just double click on maintain uh, number ranges for controlling document here you want to give controlling area here you want to give controlling area so what is your controlling area example jjca whatever controlling area you have that controlling area you can give then don't click on your change interval but here we can click on change interval um, see i mean in the f5 we can click on change interval in co for the co document don't click on change interval you can go to here here everyone change the groups change the group everyone we click on here change the group here everyone this is the transaction types this is on a transaction type example coin is one transaction type for what purpose co through posting in from a file okay this is uh, this all are transaction types this all are transaction types so i am repeating once again for my satisfaction i am repeating once again double click on this execute button maintain number ranges for co documents and give it here your controlling area my controlling area is jjca and click on here this one change interval here this is the one so this is the transaction type so all the transaction type is non assignment list still number range is not created and not assign this but now we need to create one number range then assign this transaction type to your number range all the transaction types everyone all the transaction type so this is the transaction type can be going to update for the co document f5 document means accounting entry co document means it is not a accounting entry it is just a single line report okay it won't update debit and credit here in the co it won't update debit and credit debit and credit update only in f5 from that debit and credit only expenses and incomes will going to copy from f5 to co F I to CO everyone. Clear, clear so far. Yes, no, okay. What I'm telling? Yes, sir. So now, how to yes, create sir. the number range? Yes, very good, everyone. Thank you, everyone. So how to create the number range? Then how to assign this transaction type to that specific number range? So I'm repeating once again. Concentrate here. Double click on this maintain version. and give it here your controlling area what is your controlling area example uh, jj ca and click on here change interval and click on here here everyone from here you can concentrate here and click on here create number ranges and click on here create and here you can write the description and number ranges so what is the description example jj underscore co number ranges co number ranges in case if you want to create multiple you can create otherwise one number range is enough for all transaction type even if you want to create multiple yes you can create multiple also example 01 and 100000 and 199999 here i'm taking one number range in case if you want to create one more number range select and click on your add but not required okay and click on your save save and one step back here here 
So how you can create number range? Here, click on your new entry, then you can create. Okay. So now all the transaction types now in non-assignment list. So where we can create number range, everyone? If I go down, if I go down here, here, JJCA01, JJCO number ranges. This is the number range, everyone. And so now I want to assign my transaction type to my number ranges. So there is a no any other option, everyone. You have to assign manually. You have to assign manually, everyone. So how to assign my transaction type to number ranges? Very simple. Listen, listen careful. A lot of people is going to confusing here. Select the transaction type. Select the transaction type. Click on your assignment here. Click on your assignment and select your number 01. Double click on 01. So the transaction type will going to assign in the number range. Come down, come down. Let's observe here. Here, see, it's came here. Means it is assigned to our number range. Same way you can assign all the transaction type manually. You select this, assign, and double click on 01. Select, assign, double click on 01. Select, assign, double click on 01. See, means even if you want to create multiple number ranges, you can create, but not required. Okay. For example, select, I want to assign 02. So first you can click on your create. Here you can create one more number range. Example, save. Here you can create one more number ranges. Then you can assign that dot transaction type for one more number ranges, but not required everyone, but not required. Okay. How to assign? Select this existing one, assign and double click. So here number range creation, here number range assignment. How we can assign? Select the transaction type, assign, then double click. So this is the edit actually, edit, change the group, edit, okay? And uh, this is the creation and this is the assignment. And select and assign, let's see and enjoy. Select and assign. So what, why you are assigning this transaction type and number range means? So this all expenses and incomes will going to copy FI to CO. In the CO also we required transaction type and number ranges for updating the cost and revenue. For updating the cost and revenue, you people required transaction type and number ranges. To updating, yeah, asset uh, liabilities, expenses, and income in FI. We in FI we required document type and number ranges. In CBO we required transaction type and number ranges. Transaction type and number ranges. So it's a manual you can do everyone. Please practice, okay, properly. Manually you can do it. For example, everyone, for example, some people doing, uh, in case, sir, I'm, I'm very, very um, in case, sir, I, I'm unable to do this manual work. Is there any uh, process to copy all the things at a time? Basically, all the things at a time, it's not possible, everyone. There is a one thing. There is a one thing to do one thing. For example, uh, what is your controlling area? Example, my controlling area is JJ. Uh, CA. This is my controlling area. In SAP, there is a standard controlling area. It's called 1000. It's called 1000. So here you can copy from 1000 controlling area to your controlling area. All the transaction type and number ranges, you can copy. Either you can do manual process. Otherwise, you can copy. Copy from the thousand controlling area to your controlling area. 
how you can copy very simple everyone do one thing everyone do one thing instead of doing manual work simply go to maintain number ranges for controlling and here uh, give it here your controlling area jjca and if you click on your change group then you want to create manually then you want to create manually instead of that better you can click on your copy as copy the objective click on here copy the objective so copy from from thousand one second one second copy from thousand copy to jjca so it will go into copy all the number ranges and transaction type for the thousand one second Okay. Thousand company code. And basically, you don't copy. Better, my suggestion is you can create manually. It will go to increase your subject knowledge. Understood, everyone? Click on your edit. And we already created number ranges. It will update it here. We already created and assigned some of the things. This is the number ranges. This is assigned. You can remaining things also you are going to assign. Remaining things also you are going to assign. So this is the basic settings, everyone. These things I can revision once again during the CO. Don't feel bored. Just do manual act select and do and double click on this. So it will take some time everyone to do manual work. You can practice manually. Instead of copying from the standard, you can practice uh, manually. It can be helped to get more knowledge. In case if you want to create multiple number ranges, you can create, but not required. Why? Because all the transaction type, I'm assigning only one number range, 0, 1 number ranges. You can create 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4 like that for different, different transaction type for different, different number ranges also. You can assign, but not required. Are you following everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't feel bored, everyone. Let it be. Let's do the manual work. Again, uh, during the CO, uh, now we are discussing FI, right? During the CO, once again, we will explain this. Everyone, don't worry about that. Once again, we are going to discuss all the things whenever I start the CO. That time, once again, I start the, that. Just simply, if you can understand now, then you can follow my instruction to post the accounting entries and all.
click on here save so all the transaction type is assigned so i am repeating once again in case no sir i can i want i don't want to do manual so i want to copy from existing one is there any other process very simple so click on your uh, uh, maintain number ranges and click on your copy as here here copy as from which uh, controlling area from thousand is a standard to which controlling area give it here your controlling area jjca if you click on here this then all the things will going to copy whatever number ranges whatever transaction type in thousand uh, controlling area all the things will going to copy with the your controlling area but instead of click on your copy let give it here your controlling area jjca let's create your own okay let's create your own it's my suggestions and uh, one more thing everyone and uh, you do one thing everyone you do one thing uh, not for sap uh, last i mean before this class i said one word everyone uh, take pen and paper everyone this is not a subject just i am giving just for instruction take pen and paper not now later after the class you can write your name and your date of birth you can write one uh, one thing everyone next 5 years where you are next 10 years where you are what you want to achieve you want to become a sap manager or directors delivery head or is there any other goals what type of goals you have so next 5 years where you are what is your target write it next 10 years and write it and one more thing everyone every birthday maybe before birthday or after birthday every birthday you can write same thing everyone for this year what i learn what i want to learn means what i achieved what i want to achieve for example next 10 years example i am telling next 10 years i want to become a chief minister for that purpose in this year what i did next year what i want to do next year what i want to do this step by step step by step step by step process everyone example i am telling for example next 10 years i am become a director or delivery head delivery head means more than senior manager delivery head of the sap for that purpose so what i am learning this year next year what i want to learn first you can write a target vision today or tomorrow and on every birthday or before the day or after the day you can write everyone so in this year what i achieved next year what i want to achieve every birthday you can write means you are giving the instruction to your mind uh, means your thoughts is your life that is the thing actually you want to give the instruction to your mind if you write then it will going to register so what i learned this year what i want to learn next year for my target so my target is next coming 10 years or my target is next 5 years i want to become this for that purpose what i want to do in mba in mba there is an a vision and mission if you studied mba there is a two concept one is called vision and one is called mission anybody knows what is the difference between vision and mission anyone knows yes no the vision means target mission means for that target what you are doing now somebody trying to tell tell yes please go ahead Yes, sir. Yes, that's what I'm going to tell. Correct. Okay, good, good. Thank you, sir. So you can write everyone. So now you started to learning now. Next five years, what you want? Not now, after the class. What I want? Next 10 years, what I want? For every birthday, you can write this year, what I learned, what I achieved. Next year, what I want to achieve. Again, next year, you can write. Again, next year, you can write. You can give the instruction to your mind. Maybe you born uh, you born like a in poor family it's not a wrong 
but if you die in poor family that is the wrong that is not good uh, i read one quote everyone i heard the one quote actually one quote you born in middle class family it is not a wrong but if you die in middle class family it is the wrong you did lot of mistake in your life okay so you means other people want to take inspiration from your you other people want to take inspiration from your end okay see so and so see he so and so like that just born study doing the job and married children and die what is the use of this nothing no use in india there is a 401 crore 40000 40 crore people you are also one of the guy then what is the use you people want to achieve something okay say yes no okay will you achieve yes sir yes sir sir yes sir okay do that one and the next one so what i did come to my subject everyone i created transaction type and number ranges i created come to my subject now now come to my subject come to my subject everyone please do this activity everyone after the class and uh, maybe if you write this type of things some people will going to laugh in your family member or your brother or sister no problem let it let it be laugh no problem but you can write okay uh, okay please everyone please follow this after 5 years everyone you are mean same industry right same maybe you also become sap consultants and all me also same industry na after 5 years and after 10 years i want to see you in good position make me as a fraud she is my student he is my student like that okay make me as a fraud make your family member as a fraud she is my i mean family member or he is my family member like that so one day i want to see you in very big position do hard work everyone okay yeah come to my subject everyone example example everyone uh, uh sorry everyone one word i will tell you lot of people saying one thing everyone lot of people saying one thing the thing is sir i do not have time uh i am busy with my current job uh they said lot of things everyone everybody have 24 hours including me and you and other people also okay even narendra modi have lot of time lot of time but why not you i am telling very strongly yes your current job is important but your career more important your current job is important but your career is more more much more important don't neglect the subject kindly do the practice and maybe very soon i will share interview question and answers also read interview question and answers make one target after 6 months i want to become a sap consultant for this month what i did what i learned what i achieved like that you can make one target you can take pen and paper and write you can give the instruction okay okay please everyone please do practice why because in this class i absorbed some my taken and server access to lakshmi ma'am i analyze some servers maybe 5 to 10 people maybe 5 or 6 5 to 10 8 or 9 people they are not doing any practice just listening and all but remaining remaining students uh, 70 to 80% of students is good the better thing is some people not attending the class some people but every day they are watching recording session and they are doing the practice i i very impressed for that people okay so 70 to 80% people are good but remaining 10 to 20% of people they are saying sir i am busy with office work i am busy with that i am busy with this no don't don't do like that yes that busy is important but your career more 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 important kindly do practice and do. okay why i that thing why i told that story motivational means you people want to practice people want to become a 
SAP consultant and all. That is my intention. Okay. Come to my subject again. Next one. Maintain version. So this maintain controlling area, maintain number ranges and controlling document, maintain version, define ledger to CO version. These steps, again, we will going to explain during the CO. This is now we are in Yafina. During the CO time, that time I will once again, I will going to explain. Don't worry about that. And next one, maintain version. This versions, version is the reporting purpose, everyone. Version is the reporting purpose. For this version, you have to assign your company code. For more explanation, it will come later, not required now. For this version, uh, you can assign your company code. Standard version is 01. 01 is a standard version. For that version, you have to assign your controlling area. You have to assign your controlling area. So very simple, everyone. Double click on maintain version. Double click on maintain version. Zero is a standard version, everyone. Zero is a standard version for the planning, actual, uh, variance, work in progress. Zero is a standard. Select here zero. Select here zero. And double click on here. Controlling area. Each physical year setting. Double click on this. And give it here your controlling area. What is your controlling area? JJCA. And click on your OK. That's it. Then you can click on your save. And what is this? All the things we'll explain later, everyone. Not required now. Simply click on your save. I'm repeating once again. I'm repeating once again, everyone. You can assign the version to your controlling area for the reporting purpose. Okay, how you can assign? Double click on maintain version. Double click on maintain version. Select here zero and the setting for each financial year or physical year. Now here you can give your controlling area. Simply here you can give your controlling area and click on your OK. All the fields and all we are going to discuss during the CO not required now and click on your save. Click on your save. Then one more, one more everyone, one more step. Define ledger to CO version. Ledger to CO version. What is the, for example, everyone, what is your leading ledger? What is your leading ledger, everyone? Parallel accounting, leading ledger, extension ledger. What is your leading ledger? Zero. 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 And what is your controlling area? For my controlling area, JJCA. And uh, what is your just now version? Version zero. So we want to map this. We want to map this. Even what is your current financial year? 2024. 2024. Like this, you have to map everyone. Like this, you have to map. What is your, uh, this is the, this step is not there in ECC. This step is not there in ECC. This step newly added in the S4 HANA actually. Okay, this step is newly added in S4 HANA. And define ledger to CO version. You just double click on this execute button. Double click on this execute button. Click on your new entry. Click on your new entry. And what is your controlling area? What is your controlling area? Controlling area is JJCA. What is your version? Zero. What is your ledger? Zero L. Zero L. Okay, this is the thing. And click on your save. We are going to map everyone. We are going to map. We are going to map this transaction. Okay. And the last step, everyone, for the basic setting. After this step, we are going to create master data, GL master data, and the post the document entries. During the posting the document entry, you people want to analyze lot many things. After posting the accounting entry, for this accounting entry posting, how the global parameters is helped, how the new GL concepts is helped, how the CO basic settings is helped for the accounting entry posting for the reports why you are doing uh, from the starting class to now 
why you are doing this all enterprise structure, global parameters, new GL concepts, number ranges, CO basic settings, why you are doing all the things? Why? Because end of the day, in the coming classes, our target is, I want to post accounting entries. I want to generate the reports. For this purpose, we are doing this activity. For this purpose, we are doing this activity. Clear? Clear, everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes. For example, everyone, you want to ask one question. Sir, in F5, we did a lot of activities. There it will be going to say. But in CO, in CO, you are saying cost and revenue update here. Cost and revenue update here. That is the reason we set up transaction type and number ranges. So in where, in which area it will going to update? Everyone, it will all the cost and revenue will going to update in the cost center. Where it will update on cost center, it will be going to update on cost and revenue. Cost center is one of the objective in the CO. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. For more explanation, I will give during the CO everyone for just for understanding purpose. Note it on one note. Note it on one note, everyone. Cost center is the place. Cost center is a place. Incurred all expenses and revenues for specific objective. For specific object. Cost center is a place incurred cost and revenue for specific objective in the CO. In the CO. Last step in the basic settings of CO, everyone. Now we start uh, master data creation and force the accounting entries. So this, all the basic settings, again, we are going to discuss during the CO. Okay. Next line noted down. To create the cost center, P code KS01. To create cost center, P code KS01. Noted? Yes, no? Yes, sir. So now my target is how to create the cost center. So everyone, my, what is the objective is, if you post any accounting entry, if you post any accounting entry, from that accounting entry, like uh, assets, liability, expenses, and income update in F5. From this accounting entry, expense, expenses and incomes will going to copy in the CO as a cost and revenue. So where, where the cost and revenue will going to update? 
update in the cost center update in the cost center everyone it will be going to update in the cost center cost center also one of the master dot cost center is one of the objective in the co okay in the cost center in the co within the co there is an a cost center cost center okay in the cost center cost and revenue will going to update for this purpose we created transaction type and number ranges so for more explanation i will tell you later everyone but not required now so how to create the cost center note it on one note everyone sap menu note it on this part accounting controlling cost center master record and cost center individual and ks01 note it on this path everyone to create cost center note it down to create cost center Put it on the path everyone to create cost center. Yes, no, note it. Done, sir. Done. So, everyone, concentrated everyone to just double click on KS01. And uh, in case it is your controlling area, then fine. In case it is your controlling area, then fine. In case it is not your controlling area, in case it is not your controlling area, go to edit. Sorry. Go to extras. Click on your set controlling area. Here you can give your controlling area, everyone. I'm repeating once again, everyone. Concentrate here, my dear students. Double click on KS01. It is your controlling area, then fine. In case it is not your controlling area, go to extras, click on your set controlling area. Mm. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Set controlling area, give it here your controlling area. And uh, here, cost center, set up here any name, maybe numerical or it may be alphabet. So example, I set up here uh, JJFC. Set up here any name, it may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Then from date and to date. From date and to date, I am taking from April 1st onwards. Our financial year start from April 1st. April 1st to you can give 999 at the end of the day. So set up here your controlling area. Give it here any set up here any name from date and to date. Press enter. This cost center valid from date and to date. Enter. And uh, write cost center name. Example JJ Finance Cost Center center and uh, AJ finance cost center and person responsible Mr. Ramana and category category you can assign any category everyone if it is finance is there you can assign finance otherwise you can assign anything okay you can assign anything example administration also you can take you can assign any category and uh, hierarchy if you click on your browse hierarchy will go into copy C uh, jj underscore ca and cost sir if you click on your browse from where this hierarchy will go into copy i will tell you i will tell you everyone 
Give it here your company code. What is your company code? JJ11. What is your business area? Uh, something JJ something is there. No? Give it your business area. Uh, star enter. What is our business area? JJ Hyderabad business area. And what is your currency? INR. And uh, what is your profit center? JJ100. And press enter. See, here everyone, set up here a controlling area and set up here any four, up to four digit and write the description and responsible person. Then category, you can take any category everyone, not a matter. And here the thing is hierarchy, from where this hierarchy is coming. Guys, do you remember during the controlling area creation, during the control, open new session. Okay, KP. Do you remember everyone? What is a, during the controlling area creation? What is our controlling area? This is my controlling area, everyone. This is my controlling area. In this controlling area, here we set up one name. Did you remember? Yeah. Class center standard hierarchy. Whatever name you are set up here during the controlling area creation, that name will come automatically if you browse here. Here, here. Okay. And remaining things as usual. Here, what is your company code? What is your business area? What is your currency? What is your profit center? This is as usual, it will come. Okay. And name, financial cost center, and the value from and to set up here any four digit. I mean, set up here any four digit for the identification of your cost center, then controlling area like that. And save, save, save everyone. So in this cost center, cost center is belongs to CEO. In this cost center, all the expenses and incomes will go into copy. For more details, why, what, when, blah, 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 XYZ, during the CEO, I will tell you everyone. During the CEO, I will tell you. So finally, our target is came to create GL master data to post the accounting entry. To post the accounting entry. Anyone, any questions? Any questions? Questions, please. Time to ask the questions. Open floor. Please, everyone. Questions, please. No questions. Everyone, um, tomorrow class, there or not there, I will update in the group. In case if I am not take the class tomorrow, so that class I will take on weekend. Saturday or Sunday I will take. Clear? Clear everyone? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Yesterday class uploaded huh, in drive. Right? Maybe no, huh? No, no sir. Anybody no, sir. no, right? Ah, okay. I will we will upload. Okay. okay. Maybe, yeah, we will upload it. Bye, everyone. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir.